Lost Perspective, Man in Black and the Well of Souls. This is my attempt to understand who and what the Man in Black is and the purpose of the island. The evidence from Lost episodes include Dead is Dead, 512, The Conflict Shrine Under the Temple Walls, Across the Sea, 615, Mother's Conversation with the Boys, and Man in Black Going into the Light, and The End, 617, Jack and Desmond in the Plug Room. Also, the Orchid Orientation video from 413. I pulled some information from Wikipedia. The wormhole references in the Casimir Effect article and the Mythological Cerberus article. Reading material from Stephen King including The Dark Tower, It, and N, which has an excellent video on YouTube. I'll have a link in the description. Spoilers are involved. My assumptions are Pierre Chang knows what he's talking about. Mother appears to be Greek. She arrives on the island before the Roman culture of Jacob and Man in Black arrive. She has been there for a long time and knows much about the light and the role of protector. She also commands or controls the power of the smoke monster. My arguments are, this conflict on the island has happened before and will happen again. The island is a well of souls. Man in Black was driven by greed, envy, and a general malevolence. Man in Black was not killed by Jacob, but merged with another entity to become part of a security system. Smoke Monster was inspired by Stephen King stories. A Circle The conflict between protectors and off-islanders has been around for centuries. There are parallels throughout time. People dig a hole to discover the light. Someone enters the filter. Someone gains power from the light. A protector builds a failsafe. The protector must be killed. This happens because the island is the source of life and it breaks us down to our very selfish natural instincts. Some resist, but most don't, or possibly can't resist. The Well of Souls In the training video for the Orchid, Hallowax tells us that the island is exhibiting signs of a natural Casimir effect. This effect has been noted to be necessary for spatial and temporal wormholes by many contemporary scientists. From Wikipedia, the Casimir effect shows that quantum field theory allows the energy density in certain regions of space to be negative relative to the ordinary vacuum energy, and it has been shown theoretically that quantum field theory allows states where the energy can be arbitrarily negative at a given point. Many physicists such as Stephen Hawking, Kip Thorne, and others therefore argue that such effects might make it possible to stabilize a traversable wormhole. We see evidence of both of these things happening on or to the island. This information combines with the seemingly educated words of Mother from across the sea. The warmest, brightest light you've ever seen or felt. And we must make sure that no one ever finds it. It's beautiful. Yes it is. That's why they want it. Because a little bit of this very same light is inside every man. But they will always want more. Can they take it? No, but they will try, and if they try, they could put it out. And if it goes out here, it goes out everywhere. This is very specific information. All this knowledge from two very different sources leads me to believe that this light is the source of life on the planet that travels from other universes into this one. The light has been threatened and repaired before, and if it goes out for good, all life will eventually die through corruption and infertility. Man in Black was a good liar even before seeing the light. Mother calls him special. He was driven by greed for knowledge and strives for freedom once he sees the light and is visited by his real mother. He was mentally poisoned by mother's lies and manipulations for 13 years and once realizing this, he left. He chose to live with and experience his own people on the island for 30 years. The cynicism of mother towards people continued through Man in Black because of her her very own actions. Because of this, he continues to see and push for the worst in people. He suffers from confirmation bias, so even the small niceties are meaningless to him. His entire life was a lie, 
why would it change? Man in Black and the Plug Room The light and water have been combined in the plug room similar to how Man in Black combined them at the Orchid. A previous protector or architect of some kind created the plug, water vents, and the hieroglyphs. They must have done that to protect the light from other corrupt men. If the island is being a cork to keep out the darkness, the water is a filter and the plug is a relief valve for the water which allows every soul to enter into this world. That makes it the single most important thing to protect in the world. When Man in Black becomes part of the filter, his presence throws off the balance and allows the soul through, and because he can't die, he merges with it. In the violent exchange, which would have killed anyone else, his body is discarded, and the newer bodiless soul literally gets overwritten. Mother called it a fate worse than death. They are released combined as the smoke monster, a man's soul combined with a bodiless entity that we see in Across the Sea. This filter and security system must have been set up at some point by a previous protector, perhaps as a biological weapon to cleanse the island, much like the Tempest did taking out the Darwin Initiative. However, this time the smoke monster has the mind of a man and can't be controlled like previous security monsters. In mythology, Cerberus guards the underworld. In the hatch, just before potential destruction, the numbers flip over to hieroglyphs, which say underworld. The hatch map also references multiple Cerberus locations. Mother protected Man in Black from dying by Jacob's hand, then gave him a cynical viewpoint on the world. Jacob and the filter then gave him a new body designed to protect the island, which clashed with his intentions of leaving. Once again the world was against him, for good reason, and all he wanted to be was free. So what are the abilities of this security system? The most obvious are limited flight and invulnerability. We see the monster multiple times, while not exactly hostile, reading or recording memories of the people that it meets. Considering what we know, we can presume this is a form of judgment of the person's past and potential future. This ability is great if you're trying to cleanse the island of corrupt people, but uh, what if you're actively trying to corrupt these very people? It becomes a much different type of tool. This ability couples nicely with being able to project either the dead on island or those stolen from memories. The idea of barriers between worlds has been explored in many other pieces of fiction. With one of my personal favorite writers, Stephen King, Many of his works have used this idea and the darkness in between worlds to create conflict. The most obvious examples of this would be The Dark Tower and It, which happen within the same story Megaverse. Another of his works, N, is contained within the short story collection of Just After Sunset. There are many parallels between Lost and N, including recurring numbers, a spiritual entrance into our world, episode 8, protectors of that entrance, episode 9, a malevolent force threatening the world, 11, and recruiting new protectors to take on the role, 19. I read this randomly during a rewatch of Lost and I couldn't believe the similarities. So my major conclusions are, the water combined with the plug is a soul filter which allows souls normally into this world. It was designed to repair the damage of someone who dug at the light previously. This filter spawns a defensive smoke monster whenever someone tries to affect the light. Our smoke monster is a security system made up of an otherworldly body and man in black soul. His motivations to leave the island are contrary to the purpose of his existence as a smoke monster, which is to pr protect the light. Mother's murder and lies poisoned and created a malevolence in man in black. If he had made it off island as a man, he would have turned around just like Widmore, or Hanzo, and done his best to return and harvest the light. If a smoky man in black had made it off island without destroying the island, he could have corrupted and destroyed most people in the world, perhaps finding other sources of light on earth such as that in Uluru, Australia. The horrific events of Stephen King's The Stand come to mind. 